Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to say, call Halalim Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Brakakadash. Devil honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that taught us this truth. All right. Double honors to them. All right, the trailblazers of all Israel, okay, who taught us this truth once again. <laughs> all right, shalom and salutations to the hopeful elect. I came out there following suit, all right, and present their bodies as a living sacrifice, as the scriptures teach us to do, all right, spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth, waking up, all right, the hopeful elect of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and our seed that has been scattered abroad that may look like the heathen nations, all right. Shalom to those men as well. Shalom to the very few sisters that do listen up as well. On the brother Yarmaya from the Great Millstone, Chicago camp, basically coming back to you with another lesson. And this lesson is concerning. All right, um, this truth, and um, really understanding that it, it, it makes it easy, you know, for you on this journey. Knowing that you're working for something that you don't deserve anyway, you know, it makes you more enthusiastic about it, you know. So hopefully it's edifying in the name of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, all right, through the Spirit. Um, I'm going to bring out this first scripture. This is uh, Romans 12 and verse 1. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. So this is our reasonable service, all right. Presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice, all right? How, how it goes into Judges 5 and 11, rehearsing the righteous acts. Now, we understand, and that's another thing. We actually understand, you know, that it's just completely going off to sin willfully. But we understand that in this journey, we're not going to do everything perfect. We understand that we are rehearsing the righteous acts. And the Lord is looking upon that, you know, and showing mercy upon us, and that's that's the grace period, you know, but we are down here, you know, starting with the apostles and the elders on down, working out our own salvation and fear and trembling and doing everything we can to the best of our ability. Just knowing that the Lord is looking upon that, you know, and giving us salvation, all right, redeeming us, giving us redemption, all right, giving us our vengeance, you know, if we, we endure to the end, the scriptures say, he who endures to the end, the same shall be saved, you know, not that BS they kick in the Christian church. You know, so whereas you eating pork, shrimp, catfish, lobster, all type of abominable things, you know, singing songs, coming in there with that fucking adulterous spirit, you know, looking at that busk, that blasphemy of uh, Serapis Christus on the fucking cross, you know, and then just, um, <laughs> you know, get a preacher $50, 100, $100, $150 every week. You know, that's mercy and grace. You know, that's that's that bullshit that the world kicks. But no, the grace that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has given given us, you know, is 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 a beautiful thing. And to know and understand that, it, it makes this truth a lot easier. I'm gonna read this one again, then I'm gonna jump to that um to my next verse. This to my next scripture. It says Romans uh twelve and one, it says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. And once again, that's the point. Reasonable service. This is something that we're supposed to be doing anyway. And here it is. We're going to get the greatest deliverance. If we endure, once again, we're going to get the greatest deliverance. We're going to get the greatest salvation. We're going to get the greatest reward. All right? Like it says in uh, uh, Apocrypha. All right? Uh, he, 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 that, that it goes into that crowning ceremony, you know, when it says the Lord stood up one taller than everybody else and put crowns on their heads. That, that's, that's what we're working to be a part of, man. And that's going to be the greatest reward ever known to man. All right. And we, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai gave us the tools to salvation and the keys to actually understand this. And that's a beautiful thing, which goes back into predestination, man. You really have to be called in this thing, but to, to actually have a glimpse of, of, of what's really about to happen, because this definitely is about to happen to somebody, to know you really a part of this body and these and these men and these great beings that the Lord created, it, it just, it's just, it's just, it's, it's overwhelming, man. 
to really understand that we are accepted to be a part of this. And that makes doing videos, going out, you know, getting up with brothers, fasting, praying, reading. It makes it so much more easier, man, that you understand that this is all we have to do. And the Lord give us liberties, man. He gives us liberties on top of that. You know, we could have a drink. You know, we can mess with, um, you know, women. You know, that's in balance, too. All that's in balance. But, shit, we, we can do that. We, it ain't like the Lord got us down acting like some fucking Mormons, some, some choir boy idolaters, some goody two-shoes. Shit, the Lord give us a lot of liberty. You know, we can train. We can train our body. You know? The Lord actually give us, you know, some brothers play sports, some brothers into video games and shit. You know, the Lord really gave us a lot of liberty, man. And we still can serve him in righteousness, man. For a, a great reward that we don't deserve anyway, because we all supposed to be dead. But we don't let that weigh us down. You know, once again, understand the mercy and grace. We don't let that weigh us down. You know, we all guilty of sin, but we use our sins, as I say, as pride killers. Like King David says, you know, my sins are ever before me. And that's another thing that makes you go hard. That's another point of view. You know what I'm saying? Just knowing you deserve death anyway, man. And the Lord still gave you the grace and the mercy to really get out here and really cement your legacy. It's just so, it's just deep, man. You know, it's just indescribable, man. You know, hopefully this motivating. This is um, 2 Corinthians 4 and uh, verse 14. It says, knowing that he which raised up the Lord Yahweh Shai shall raise us up also by Yahweh Shai and shall present us with you. For all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace, you see that? The abundant grace. The Lord has given us grace, the real grace. Might, might through the thanksgiving. Of many redound to the glory of Yahweh. And that's why they call aloud him Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. For this cause we faint not, but through our but though our outward man perish, yet our inward man is renewed day by day. And we all should be in that spirit, you know, conquering this flesh. Being renewed through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Like the Apostle Paul said, I die daily. This is easy, man. We don't deserve this. It should make you way more enthusiastic knowing that we don't deserve what the Lord has prepared for us. Now here we go. This is verse 17. It says, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceedingly eternal weight of glory. See, this is a light affliction. You know, all the things you might go through, you know, and it's true, brother, you might lose your job. You know, your woman might break bad on you. That, that, that was going to happen anyway. You know, you uh, you might be having financial situations. Your car situation might be right. Your night night might not be right. Your living situation might not be up to par as you want it to be. I, it don't fucking matter. The Lord still gave you the, the the pathway to inherit salvation, grace, and mercy. That alone, man. I, I look and, and, and like I said, the Lord give us a lot of liberties on this side. You know what I'm saying? To be very grateful of the things we can actually still do in righteousness, you know. But at the same time, we understood that we took up our cross. All right. We understood that we cast ourselves off from this world. We, we separated ourselves from this world. All right. We understood that we would never fully make it, so to speak, in this society because this is not our rest. So we serve the Lord. All this shit is a light affliction. I'm going to read that again. It says, verse 17, it says, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment. And this is all temporary. This is all the Lord proven to us. He said, acceptable men are tried in the furnace of adversity. Don't you want to be acceptable? You got to go through it to get to it, man. Working for us a far more exceedingly an eternal weight and glory. This is all us storing up our spiritual treasures like Yahweh Shai said in the gospel. All right, well, moth and rust cannot take it and destroy it. It says, while we look not at the things which are seen, there you go, but the things which are not seen, storing up our treasures in heaven, man. It says, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So that's what the Lord has for us. 
And that's what he prepared for us. Matter of fact, let me go back to that Romans. I think it's the eighth chapter. Exactly. Going back to this light affliction, it's a verse uh, Romans eight and twenty six, and those afflictions still work out for us to be better, even when we going through shit on this side. This is Romans eight and twenty six. It says, "Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know what we should pray for as we ought, and the Spirit itself making intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered." And he that searcheth the hearts and knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of Yahweh. And Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and he brings us through all this shit that we go through to make us better. He knoweth our minds, he knoweth our spirits. Alright, he know what we want and need, you know. Before, like I heard the elder brother Yachty say a long time ago down in Dallas, he said that, um, you know, if you pray for faith, you know, the Lord will bring you through a situation that, that tries your faith. And that's being tried with these light afflictions, man. It's still rewarding. No matter what happens to the elect on this side, it's, it's rewarding. Verse 28, it says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love Yahweh. There you go. To them who are called according to his purpose. So all these things work good. The Lord trying your spirit. All right. The Lord exercising your spirit. Exercising your mind. Exercising your integrity. The scriptures tell you that wisdom will try you. But the Lord is showing his grace and his mercy, man. And, and giving us the ability and the chance to get back to the Heavenly Father. All right. And that's, 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 that's a very powerful thing, man. And it makes this work. So easy. It makes the work a little easy, man. To knowing you getting paid. You know, you're doing so much less for so much more. This is Malachi 3 and verse 16. It says, Then they that feared Yahweh spake often one to another. And the Lord, Tzalaki and Yahweh, hearkened and heard about it. And the book of remembrance was written before him that feared Yahweh. And that thought upon his name. So here it is. Yahweh Ratazah, we those great men of old, you know, coming back, that's written in this book. And that Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah takes account of, man. You know, that we found in these scriptures is worthy, acceptable, noble men that came back down in our lot, our lot and got down for the crown, so to speak. And that's the, that's the truth. Verse 17, it says, and they shall be mine, said the Yahweh of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man that spared his own son, the servant him. Then ye shall return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the Yahweh and him that serveth him not. So this is what we about to find out, man. Just do the work, man. And knowing we don't deserve this right here, spare and being spared, as a man of spirit, his own son, from the great perils and the destruction that's to come, we don't really deserve that. But Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah is looking upon us, and if we endure to the end, we're going to get that. And just knowing that we're going to get salvation, if, if we keep doing exactly what we're doing, praying, fasting, uh, doing the videos, being brotherly, edifying, feeding the flock, enduring, you know, taking whatever the Lord give you that is going to make you better anyway. On the chin like a, like a man. The Lord said, gird up thy loins and prove yourself a man. When you realize you don't deserve this, man. It makes the work easier. Having gratitude, being grateful makes the work easier, man. Being grateful makes you really want to do the work, man. Knowing the Lord showed us mercy makes you really want to do the work. And this message is to me first and foremost, man. But yeah, hopefully this video was edifying, man. Call Alayim, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Rukha Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone to taught us this truth. And to the hopeful elect, I came out there and doing Shalom.